Now that we've created a named route for our logout, let's go ahead and do it for the rest of our logins. So, whoops, reminder, these are the routes that we have available to us. And we've created a named route named logout with this part of, of the code right here. <clears throat> but we probably want to have something similar for our, our login. After all, new login kind of so sounds weird and going to a URL slash login slash new is a little strange. What we would like is something like login. However, we have a login that's already created from our routes from our resources. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to delete these resources now and recreate the, um, the login that doesn't point to the delete anymore but points to, to our form. So when we do a get on a text called login, we want it to go to our logins controller, the, the new action, and we'll call that in our parlance, our login. And then we still need uh, what happens after we do our new, we have our, our logins here. So we, we need to create that. And so that's a post and let's call, let's point that to, to login as well. Uh, we won't be doing that with code directly. We won't be pointing people to that URL. We'll always be pointing them to the form. But if we post a login, we're going to go to the create action. And let's just, to make it simple, we don't have to do more coding, let's call that logins. Um, we could we could leave that off if we wanted, but it, it's just nice um, to, to have that there. And so now that we have those routes, we can run our rake command and we can see that now we have getting a login, we have posting to logins, and we have deleting to, to log out here. And if we try to run our tests, so one sec, our spec, we're going to have a couple of problems because we changed from new login to login. And so we'll find which test break here. Uh, just a few of them. And and then try to to fix them. So we can see that anytime we want to visit new login path, we have to change that in in our test. So let's go ahead and edit our test. And we're just gonna look for new login path. And we're gonna change that to now just our login path. So we look for it there. We've got that and there. And now we've changed all of a new login path there. So now all our, our tests should work. And we can run our, our tests and they at least be written correctly. Now we have to see if we had written new login path in any of, of our code. And what we uh, see is, yes, in our layout, we also referred to new login path. All right. So let's uh, go ahead and, and check that out. So we edit app views, layouts, application. And we have our new login path there that we can change to our login path. That will make a big difference on the tests because now not every page is going to be trying to call that. And we can just keep doing this. We're gonna look and see lots and lots of green. We're, we're looking good here. And we have successfully been able to, to do that. So now if we start up our server again, and go ahead and go to our browser, what 
we will see is that uh, we can go to this and we can, uh, well let's refresh this page now our login now points to slash login so we can actually point like in a nice uh, web page or in a, an email that we send people we can send them to login and it goes to the right place so we can connect up John Doe with their password and we are logged in and now our logout is going to point to to that logout we can uh, have to click on this link remember because we need to do the the post there but now we have a, a nice URL named routes for our login path our logout path and our our posting so we have done um, made it just a little bit easier to read a little bit easier to use from uh, our, our users and sending URLs that, that people can like